Lord. It's not a matter of crap. But we are going to have crap. We are going to have crap. But this is amazing. All scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, and what? Instruction in righteousness. And that's what the Lord will do. Some say, Thank you, Jesus. Avoiding a pathway of the foolish. That is amazing. That's why it's up there for you. Avoiding the pathway of the foolish. Say it again I am full of wisdom. I am wise in Christ. I can never be foolish. Someone say, Amen. Listen, God's people are neither fools nor foolish. We are not. We are not. Although many times the world will count us as fools, isn't it? Have they not told you that you, that you know Jesus? If they have not told you, that means you have not started. The way you carry church on your head, have they said that to you before? Instead of you to fall out to party, you have it flaunted. You are saying, church, church, church. Holy Mary. Have you called that before? Or Mary, Mary. <laughs> you see a man carry sacrifice and say, I'm giving this to, to God, to church. Somebody taking a car to church. Guess what the people say is what? It's foolish. But I pray for an engineer. Whose soul is deep to buy a pot of charm? His soul is deep to buy what? A pot. And I ask him to go and bring the pot. <laughs> that is, people will not call that one foolish. Show. They say because he's looking for power to excel in business. He sold a whole G. And all he bought was tiny from her palace. <laughs> Excuse me. God's people are not fools. God's people are not foolish. The scripture is the wisdom of the saints. It's the wisdom of what? The saints. There is no child of God who abide by God's word that can be damn foolish. Impossible. Either in this world or in the world to come. <laughs> Listen, the scripture cannot be updated. It can't. It is forever set. You know you ask now, you can update your YouTube, is that also? Another house. But the word cannot what? God is saying something. Because he's saying after this fasting, there are some pathways you should avoid. You should what? He said it's the pathway of the foolish. That my people are not fully so intimate them on this way so that they avoid it. They avoid it. Precious people. The scriptures is a perfect guide for life. Psalm 118 and verse 128. So the Spirit of the Lord is speaking very, very loud now. That if we are to see God in nothing this year, fire. There are parts we must not tread. Honestly, I would have loved to follow like last, last Sunday. Fire, fire, fire. No, today should be an instructional message. So, are you there? Someone want me? Let's want to do it. The scriptures are is a perfect guide for life. And if you can abide by the tenets of scriptures, then a glorious tomorrow awaits you. Can we do it together to go? Therefore, I esteem all thy precepts concerning how many things? All things to be right. And I get every first word. That is, your precept concerning business is I esteem to be what? Right. Concerning academy, put it again for the people to see. You. He said, I esteem all thy precepts concerning how many things? That is, if a family will follow the tenet of the scripture, it will be perfect, correct? If a single man will follow the tenet of scripture, he will find a glorious tomorrow. If a child like Timothy will follow that same path, he said, there is no misleading as regards scriptures. But 
there is no God who prays the law of God and find it easy in the life and the life to come. I humorously told somebody, I said, as a young person, if the Lord should say you zip up and touch your bed, is it because God has a wife that is trying to protect? Excuse me, eh? He's trying, he's saying for your what? Your benefit. <laughs> so, God's people are not foolish. And God's people are not, but why is the Lord saying, tell the people to avoid the pathway of what? The foolish in year 2022. After our fasting, after our praying, after destroying powers, we did this more difficult permit us. I'll be talking to you about contending with gates. We sit there with our mother's house. But after all being said and done, God is saying you must avoid the pathway for the foolish. Why? Number one is why you must avoid it this year is this. The pathway of the foolish only brings shame at the end. Proverbs chapter 3, verse 35. Is it 35 or 33? Quick at this. 35, thank you. Listen. The wise shall inherit what? Say, that's my portion. Say, that is my portion. Madam, I can't hear you. That is my portion. That is, your own, that is your own picture. That's, that's your own picture. But shame shall be the promotion of fools. So the pathway of the foolish only leads to shame and regret. Secondly, why is God the same? So because God doesn't want anybody to be ashamed. This year, and let me prophesy by the word of the Lord. This year, shame shall be far from your quarters. Amen. Shame shall be far from your habitation. Amen. So number one reason why the Lord is saying this year, tell the people to avoid the path of the foolish. And we'll see that in a few minutes. Number one reason is anybody who follow the path of the foolish, the end result is what? It's no. It's no. It's no. It's no. Number two. The pathway of the foolish invites destruction to destiny. Destruction to destiny. Proverbs 20 verse 13. Oh, look at that young lady. They say, calm down, calm down. I say, no, I am I'm a slave queen of this campus. Really? By the time she becomes pregnant, how do we know? Pregnancy that should be a source of joy, draw us. Now become an epitome of destruction of destiny, of shame. He says, Proverbs 20 verse 13. Or 13 verse 20. I think there's a mix of them. Check 13 verse 20. He that walketh with the wise shall be wise, but companions of fools shall be destroyed. Put that scripture there. Some say, Thank you, Jesus. The wife shall what? Shall be wise. But a companion of fools shall be destroyed. To follow the pathway of fool or the foolish is to invite destruction to destiny. That's why God is saying this year to avoid destruction of destiny. Do what? Avoid the pathway of the foolish. Number three and number four, they will tell you the pathway. Number three, Ecclesiastes chapter 7, verse 17. This is amazing. Look at it. Be not overmuch wicked, neither be thou what? Foolish. Why should that should thou die before? I mean, this one is this one is very, very clear there. Number three, the pathway of the foolish is a major cause of untimely death. There is something here that the Lord wants to do in our life this year and say, Sir, avoid the pathway of the because anyone who follow the pathway of the fully he said is the reason why people die on that day. And lastly, for 
this morning, why must we avoid the battle of foolish? Psalm chapter 1, verse 1. Let's look at it. This is the NIV translation. How happy is the man who does not follow the advice of the wicked, or take the path of what? Of sinners, or join a group of mockers. Do you have another translation that I put there? How happy is that man who does not follow the advice of the wicked or stand in the pathway of sinners? Number four, there is a blessing in avoiding the ways of the foolish. So what are the pathway of the foolish to avoid this year? Ah, my father. A lot of people that God designed heavy something for them. Because of foolishness, following the path of the foolish, they ended up small. And some died before their time. God itemized them from the scripture of the gospel so that they can follow them. I don't want to be a friend of any person. There has no honor for his father or his mother. I don't want to be a friend of that person. I'm going to show you God's word. If I have the time. I don't want to ever be a friend of any person who has no honor for the oil of God on God's side. I don't want because I don't know the purpose. I've seen you say, well, there's nobody I cannot talk to, really. Really. That me, me, I can talk to anybody. That's how we are in our family. We give you hands down like that. Let me tell you the truth. There are people you must never offend in life. Is anybody here at all? Don't say I can talk to anybody. No. There are people who you go and beg God. God said you are done for. Was not Miriam the elder sister of Moses? Talk to me. Was not Aaron the elder brother of Moses? You know what God said in Numbers chapter 12 from the six? He said, why were you not afraid to talk about my servant? That is... God explained it to him. He, he wanted to talk about Moses. No, no, no. Me, I'm no, I'm no deal. God said, "Why were you not what? You, that is, you want to talk about that? But why were you not afraid to talk about my son? The Lord said to them, "Now listen to what I say. If there be a prophet among you, I will always speak to them in vision. I will speak to them in dream. Keep reading." You are using different translations, okay? But not with my servant Moses. Of all my house is the one I trust. Verse eight. I speak to him face to face clearly and not in riddles. He sees the Lord as he is. So why were you not know what? <laughs> that is the Almighty said you should be afraid to want to talk about certain people. That is Moses was wrong because Moses said he was one who gave the Lord. You must not marry. Outside Jerusalem, but uh, after the Jesus, but the man married an African. <laughs> he married an Ethiopian lady. But God said, What I'm saying that there are clear rules that God has given that these are the ways of fools that we must not tread. What are those ways? Number one, Psalm 14. Are you ready to know the ways so that you can avoid them? Listen, sir, anybody who sees a danger ahead of you. And shows it to you. He's your friend. Are you hearing me now? He said, Don't pass that way. But you see, <laughs> when my brother is the tortoise, one story of tortoise. No, children like stories so much. Tortoise are elephants. They say, The giant elephant, we want to bury it and just say, He's too braggadocious. Let's have to just kill him. They say, Tortoise, don't worry. I will make ah, You tiny tortoise. How are you going to die? I say, Don't dig a very big hole, massive one. And put math on it. Did they teach in your school at all? Or you went to your school? <laughs> we went to a school in those days. Your hand, this are, if your hand didn't touch your ear, you went to school. If you are for a family where they have short hand, you may never enter school until you have, you have been again. <laughs> and the school went. I mean, I mean they pulled the carpet on, and everywhere was one. They put a chair there. And then began to sing for the elephant. How many jobs? 
and we put her. The turtle was singing and was singing, and then the, the, the elephant was just dancing because it's so massive. I wish I'm massive now, I could demonstrate it now. I can't demonstrate it more, but it was just. How many would you have every elephant, you know? And I was singing, and it was coming. And then, to sit on the chair, what happened? <laughs> bad thoughts, bad thoughts. <laughs> Excuse me. Anyone who sees the whole being prepared, but is covered and shows it to you. Is your what? He said that there's a hole, they dug a pit for you, and they put a nice cap and said, Oh, you are so pretty, lady. There is no one like we have been looking for somebody like you. Just follow us. But somebody come and whisper, there is death there. That person that whisper to is your friend. I want to show you as your friend this morning. The pathway, the spirit said, you must not tread this. Year. Number one. Psalm 14, verse 1. Now, you see, we are talking about the foolish, the fool. Can we do this together because this is very beautiful? We want to go. The fool has said in his heart, There is no God. They are corrupt. They have done abominable works. There is none. I don't know because Lady Prashi mentioned that as I wish I had to claim to my message. Number one way to avoid is living as though there is no God. Is the way of the foolish. He said, The fool has said, Where? In his heart. Excuse me. He didn't say with his mouth. Oh, so understand what, please put it again. Understand what the word of God is saying. Because we are talking about the ways of the foolish. He didn't say that, Oh, there is no God. No. Where did he say, it, please? So, how do you know? How do you know that this person has said there is no God? Look at the way he lives his life. He said, They are what? Corrupt. That's it. That is. They have done abominable works. Man with man, lady with lady, doing un un unprintable things. You see, so when we talk about a fool who says there is no God, it's not someone saying, Well, there is no God. No, no, no. He said, What? The outcome of his life. And what's the meaning of that? It means you are functioning without the consideration of God. Psalm 53, verse 1. That is, if someone says, I want to pray, they make jest of you. Somebody say I want to fast. I want to do something. Let me test of you. The fool has said, "Where well, in his heart there is no God. Corrupt they are. Are they? And I've done upon me iniquity. There is none that do are good. So it means you are functioning in life without the consciousness of God. When you see a person behaving like that, that is the battle of the foolish. Can say, my body is my body, I can do anything with it. I've been not having said that before. They didn't say there is no God, though, but they are living without the consciousness of God. That is the pathway of the foolish. What the way the man treats his wife. The man never said there is no God, though, but by that action, there is no consciousness of consciousness of God. What the way the woman responds to her husband. She never said there is no God, though. But by action, she lives with a con without a consciousness. What the way the children relate with their parents? I told you, a, 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 a lady said they beat their father. I said, you did what? You beat your father? He doesn't need to curse you. You already cursed. Eh? The one who brought you to life under whatever circumstance, whether he fall inside gutter, you, you bring him out and inside say that don't embarrass us. But whatever happened, children, <laughs> see, some people exist without a consciousness of who? They didn't say with their mother there is no God. They may even come to church. God said, such pathway, don't follow it. Is anybody here at all? What does it mean to live without, to live as though there is no God? It means living without thought or consideration of God. The first I said is functioning in life without the consciousness of God. Number B, living without thoughts or consideration of God. I want to read Psalm 10 verse 4 in Amplified Translation. Look at it. Brother, this way, this is number one way of the foolish. Heaven said, my children this year, don't live it like that. They don't eat it in their finances. God is not there. Look at what he says. The wicked one. 
in the pride of his countenance, will not seek, inquire for, and yearn for God. All his thoughts are that there is what? <laughs> there is no God. So, he never punishes. So, God never punishes. Let me read it here. The wicked in the haughtiness of his face will not seek for, nor inquire for God. All his thoughts are, and there is no God, so there is no accountability or punishment. There is that. That is, the young man can do anything, can carry God and kill a person. There is no accountability, there is no punishment. Excuse me, God said that is the pathway of what? The foolish. He said, don't follow that pathway. When a person says there is no accountability for anything, anytime do I go scot free? No, for where? That is, there is no accountability, no punishment. So you can be a sitting governor, 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 and then the money to, to tie the rope, you can give all the money to, to your girlfriend. <laughs> because they lie on the chest of strange women. And the woman can come and okay, all that money that they get, is five million transferred to my car. <laughs> why, why do you think we are where we are? Because all his thoughts are there is no punishment, there is no. Accountability, madam. When a person lives that way, he or she is following the path of what? The foolish. Heaven said this year, don't live as though there is no repercussion. Don't live as though there is no punishment or reward. Is a pathway of what? The foolish. Did you get that now? Can we progress to number two now? Please talk to me because I want to be sure we're on the same page. Can we move to number two now? What do we say is the first pathway or the foolish? Living as though there is what? No God. He has said in his heart, there is no, nothing with his mouth. Why do we have preachers who sleep with girls? In the church. All these thoughts are that there is no what? No God. There are no punishments. <laughs> there are no accountability. There are sons of Eli. The Bible says there were sons of Belia before the Lord. Wherefore the Lord slew them. And the father died with a broken neck. Child of God. This year, <laughs> a Christian brother, he has entered a final, final year. He has never cheated all his life. Then he said, I don't want to carry. Then they carry a little chip and give him. You know what they call chip on campus? <laughs> he didn't know that it was a setup by the enemy. So do you are there? Because they didn't want him to be rusticated out of school and tap to him. Because you are not used to it. <laughs> a person who had understanding that there is judgment, there is reward, and God watches. Whether somebody sees him or not, he won't follow that pathway. Correct? So don't be surprised that a lot of you left school. Are we together? The certificate is not what? There are details you don't know. <laughs> there are details you don't know. Say we look like twins. So he went to write for the person. All is thought that there is no accountability, there is no punishment. Child of God, don't do that. Don't do that. He can you see a man? He has a wife at home, he has children at home. Then he went to Israel joint. And then pepper soup. He said, and took some beers. He has finished his country, 20,000 there. And he went to and gave his wife two thousand. I said, "This I want to eat chicken without many thousand. You know, all he thought is that there is no, no judgment, no punishment. All he thought is that it's not just my wife. You will discover there is covenant you are working against. <laughs> Don't live that way this year. Say the spirit of the Lord." Number two, ways of the fully heaven say, my children, you are wise. Please avoid this pathway. Number two, Proverbs 21, I will set in verse 20. My desire, my desire, my desire is to walk with you, my say On this holy journey, <laughs> This holy journey till I see your face. Look at Proverbs 21. 
What is the pathway of the foolish that you must avoid this year? Please, I want us to read it together. To go. You know I'm a teacher, so please read it. To go. One more time. To go. To be desired and oil in the dwelling of the world. But a foolish man. One more time. A foolish man. Listen. The first part is your picture. I will get, get it now. But he's now saying this other part, because you are wise, I want you to avoid it. <laughs> I heard about the man of God. You know that strange man of God. The way he preaches his message is upside down. He said of him giving you seven keys to prosperity. He will give you seven keys to what? Poverty. He said, number one, be very lazy. Number two, eat your tithe. Never pay any tithe. Please, don't pay tithe. <laughs> seven ways to poverty. You will never preach seven ways to prosperity. Uh, be lazy. Don't do any work at all. You hear, you hear me? When you just, uh, you hear? Don't do any work. First key to poverty. Number two key to poverty. Don't never pay your tithe. Eat all the tithe that get. Don't think about God at all. At all. Are you hearing me? You hear? You hear? Ah, our God is so great. He has plenty to begin. And he loves all of us. He said, There are preachers, if they are preaching, they can't stay in one place. The, the fire on them is to my way together. And, and, and God is part of God. God enjoys them. He enjoys them. So the fact that I'm not preaching like that doesn't mean the person is wrong. Are we together? And there are some. They are both. And God said, Enjoy them. Great. Is our God sing with me? How great, how great is our God? All we sing, how great, how great. Oh, one more time. Proverbs 21 verse 20. What is the pathway of the fully to avoid this year, people of God? There is treasure to be desired and oil in the dwelling of the wife, but a foolish man does what? Spend that what? Up. He, he finished every matter. Number two, spending all the available resources without a saving control. He says a will of the foolish. <laughs> Spend it. Can, did, you, did you have it there to pay it for them? Yes, Spending all the available resources without a saving culture. You are collecting 200,000 as a sign. And you see the one of God dressing fine like this every Sunday. So how much is that time? It's 150. Ah, then you pick out of 200,000. Number one, you didn't pay tax. Then you went and used 150,000 to buy clothes. You don't know how supply is coming from heaven. You carry that 150,000 and all that. And then you went to, and then you are, you are, you are blowing story to your husband, to your wife and children. Say, God will supply. God will supply. God said, You have followed the path of what? Spending all that, even though it's 30,000 you are collecting, 20,000 you are collecting, if you spend it up, God says a part of what? Even though it's 1,000, save it. Is anybody hearing at all? He said the part we are the fully to avoid this year is spending all the available resources that comes with that. You don't have a saving culture. So you can see a person who got a, a blessing of five million in two months time is begging for please can you borrow me five thousand? Why? He spent it all out. He 
It's better. He said they foolish. Put it there. Let God's people see it. Let God's people see it. Proverbs 21, verse 20. There is threat. There is always something a wise person has in let. Is anybody here at all? There is something. It may be little, but you see, when there is a little left somewhere, God can breathe on it. Is anybody here at all? There is treasure to be desired. Oh yeah, in the dwelling of the world. But a foolish man spended it up. What's the meaning of that? Spending wastefully without a thought for tomorrow is a sign of foolishness. Spending recklessly. You know, in Luke chapter 15, verse 13 to 14, did you see that boy? Okay. Did you see that boy there? Sister, I mean, this kind of boy not come and marry you. I'm telling you the truth. The prodigal son. Not many days after the younger son gathered all together. He gathered how many? He never had a son. Let me reserve some. The Bible says he gathered how many? All. Capital everything. He gathered all. The Bible says it was together. He gathered them. And took his journey to a far country. And there did what? I'm talking about wasteful spending, reckless spending. And they wasted his substance on riotous living. And when he has spent how many? <laughs> when he has spent how many? That is, no, say, avoid it, madam. Avoid it this year. Excuse me. If your money has not the Brazilian hair, buy for hair. <laughs> buy a Buddha hair. Are we together? He said, he, when he had finished spending all, there arose a mighty famine in that land. And he began to be one. What? The one that gathered all and spent how many? All. So I'm using his 10,000 you have. Heaven said, if you spent it all, it's a part of the foolish. This person has no thought for tomorrow. Has no thought for tomorrow. See, wonderful Jesus is so awesome. The spirit minister told me, Do you remember that collector accosted the master and they said, Peter, don't your master, Peter, have you read it before? And the Lord said, Okay, Peter, we are the sons of the Lamb, we are not those in order not to offend them. Jesus is too much. He said, In order not to what? Offend them. He said, Take your book, have you read it before? Talk to me, have you read it before? Take your hook and go to the sea. And the first fish, I know the story. There was an ATM fish there, and he took one out of his mouth. Excuse me, was Peter in charge of Jesus' finances? Ministry? Was he the one in charge of ministry? Excuse me, who was in charge of finances? Eh? You are Bible student, please clap for yourself. Clap for yourself, you got it. The treasure of Jesus was who? Judas. You see, but Jesus said there are certain amount of money that must not finish. Uh, Peter, even though leave, remove your eye from that, go to where? Get another one for this one. If tomorrow I come to ask you and say, How much is your account? And you are telling me, Pastor, my account is 0.00. Is a part of what? Let there be 1,000 left in that account. Let there be 5,000 left in that account. Is anybody at all? I don't think you like this message. But whether you like it or not, you are already here today. <laughs> Child of God, this is very because I want that today to be a continuation. Say no, it's an instructional message. Please hear this. When we talk about spending all available resources without a thought of tomorrow, we mean inability to delay gratification. Put it inability to delay immediate gratification to secure ultimate satisfaction. Inability to delay immediate gratification in order to secure ultimate what? Satisfaction. So, no, I just have to buy on impulses. I just have to buy. I just have to buy. I just have to eat. I, 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 so, somebody, somebody, somebody that is giving you money, the person is economizing how she spends her money or he spends his money. But somebody just gave you 3,000 now. In the presence of the person who gave you 3,000, you order suya, you order shawama, you order what is your God said, a foolish person does what? Spend it up. People of
Lord God, heaven says you should do what? Avoid that part. This year. You see, and when the Lord is giving us instruction because he sees something come. And that's why he's giving. I wanted to be fine. I pray already for today. He said, no, it's an instruction service. But I just want to be where you are in your dwelling place. I don't want to worship from above. Draw me, Lord. Ecclesiastes chapter 2, verse 10 to 11. Ecclesiastes chapter 2, verse 10 to 11. You don't have the capacity to delay gratification. You say, no, I must wear the dress. I must be like my friend. I, I, I must buy it now. Uh, I, I want my children to look like their children. I must buy it now. Oh, you have already five minutes to watch you, and the job brought down that is watching the office. I know those people used to bring it to the office. You can even pay three times. You can pay three times. It's fine. It's fine. They have to move 10,000 from your money. By the time you know what is happening, your money is remaining 2,000 naira. Pocket. Even. God have mercy. You don't have the ability to delay what? Gratification. I told the young man who came to see me yesterday, the pastor. That's why some people join your court, is it? Because you'll be pastoring and just seem to grow. Why don't you just delay that and, and, and trust God for ultimate what? Satisfaction. Look at this man. This one, he doesn't have the patience to delay gratification. Anything you say, nah, 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 nah. Somebody say, oh God, give me patience. Give me patience. Say, where do you want it? I want it now, now, now. Say, you are not ready for it. And whatsoever my eye desire, what? Did you see the kind of person I'm talking about? If my eye does desire, mom, eh, I must get it. That is why if you, are, if you like yourself, don't carry your daughter that you are vision for and visit Solomon. Because if Solomon set his eye on your daughter and he likes her, he must what? See what he's saying now. Do you think he just got 1,000 women by, by chance? He said, I have on pretty appetite. Anything my eye desire, I don't keep them. Yeah, did you see it? <laughs> oh, yeah. I don't know how to teach today. <laughs> because this is going to get tough. <laughs> I'm afraid of that word. Whatsoever my eye desire, I get no from them. I will take no my heart from any what? Any job, it doesn't matter whether he's right or not. Give it to do, do, do. It's okay. As we so low. No wonder at the end of his life he became fool. He became a foolish man. The wisest man became what? A foolish man. And he started serving idol. Somebody who has seen God appear to him twice. Look at him. For my heart is just all my labor. And this was my portion of all my labor. Now look at that business. Then I look on all the works that my hand had brought. <laughs> and all the labor that I labored to do. And behold, all was what? <laughs> oh my God. All of it and what? Vexation of spirit. And there was no profit. When he, he come to his command. <laughs> and so old man or woman. I did I get it. He's not black, white, tall, everyone. Say foolish. <laughs> ah! Oh, this is very tough. That is, this is what we just say, Mister. Whatever my desire, I did what? I acquired it. He said, by the end of my life, when I look at everything, ah! Weary. <laughs> All I have is you in heaven and earth. All I have is you. All I have is you. All I have is you in heaven and earth. Oh, oh, oh. All I have is you, Jesus. Jesus. Only 
this why I'm giving you today. God has spoken to somebody. Is anybody at all? The only one said, these are the instructions that you are going to do today. So if they give you 10, you know there are some people, if they have 20,000, they are going to be shaken until the money finish. If it has not finished, that is exactly what they are They are 20,000, they invite all the friends. Let's go to Mr. Big's man. He became all of a sudden generous. His poverty that is calling him is the pathway of the foolish. Iyanu, you're the God of most the wonder. I tested all your power. Onisha, oh, Onisha, Iyanu, you don't show me so much mercy, much more than I deserve. Avoid this year. Talk to me. What's number one foolish way God say we should avoid this year? Living as though there is no God, there is no consciousness of God. Number two is what? Spending all available resources. Whatever is the need, never, 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 because it's the pathway of the foolish. Number three. Mm, Jeremiah nine verse twenty three to twenty four. Is all true of you. This is all true of you. Thus says the Lord, oh my God, let not the wise man glory in his wisdom. Hmm. Neither let the mighty man glory in his might. Let not the rich man glory in what? Excuse me, is that not what we, are, we, we glory in now? As men. But let him that glory it, glory in this. That he understand it and know it me. That I am the Lord which exercises loving kindness, judgment, and righteousness in the earth for in these things I delight see the Lord number three glory or boasting on anything that is not eternal is a pathway of the flesh that's right it's already there for you glory or boasting on anything that is not eternal He said, even though you are a mighty man, he said, God said, don't boast in your mind. Let not the rich man. And this year you say, do you know why? Yeah? So I can buy you and this your car you are even boasting about. Because the man has money. He said, because he said, this is how you say you are, I will buy you and the house. And I will scrape it down and build another one. Because he has money. He said, let no of the rich man boast about his riches. He said, I'm not saying you should not boast. He said, if you want to boast, boast in this, that you know me and you understand me. That I have a God that exercises what? Loving kindness, judgment, and righteousness in the earth. If you know about the judgment, that things won't come out of your mouth. What does it mean to glory on something that is not eternal? It means you are falling into the temptation of comparison. 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 12 to 13. When you begin to boast, I am mighty. That means you have compared yourself to the might of others. If you begin to boast, oh, I am so beautiful. That means you have compared yourself to that. When you begin to boast, I am so intelligent. It means you are on the scale of comparison. And look at what God says about such people. For we dare not make ourselves of a number or compare ourselves with what? With some that commend themselves. But they 
measuring themselves by did you see that now measuring themselves by themselves and comparing themselves among themselves they are not why is that very clear now but we will not boast of things without a measure but according to the measure, the rule which God has distributed to us, a measure to reach even unto you. Hear me, child of God. The moment you begin to boast of anything in your life that is not eternal, excuse me, heaven says the part of what you have finished. Don't do that this year. If God had placed you with billion, and this year, billionaire will rise out of this place. How many of you believe that? Shout hallelujah. That's why I like singing that song. I'm a billion, I'm a billion. I'm a below, I'm a below, yeah. My father is rich in the house and love and I'm easy. I'm a below, I'm a below, yeah. I'm a below, I'm a below, yeah. I am happy, 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 happy below. Now listen, whatever you have in this life, child of God. Never make it a point of what? Boasting. I heard a prophet called a, a, a woman and said, Madam, you are the mother of all your three girls. He said, This is your mom. He said, Touch it, this mom. And that's why the prophetic kid is in his house. All I guess are very beautiful. He said, You use your mom. And the what? Age had passed, my daughter. No, he said, Mama, you use your mom. Everywhere you went, come and see my guest. <laughs> come and see my guest. See that picture, see that picture. And she carried them into the hand of Ajay, which is. They said, Madam, you are the one that put them there. That is, why don't you cover them until they arrive at their destiny? But you see, you see, when we really like to boast and we don't know what the word of God said we should boast for, boast about, you see, we are trading the part of the foolish. Oh, so you are intelligent, really. Let the Almighty remove his mind, his hand from your mind. You will discover that you are like. Zombies knowing nothing. Child of God, hear the word of God today. Don't fall into temptation of comparing yourself with themselves because those comparing themselves with themselves are not worse. Wise. If you follow that way, child of God, follow the pathway. It means every time you are boasting about things that are not eternal. I remember when I was with the great servant of God in, in, in Tunamis Commission, they invited a man from abroad, they called him the Miracle Man. You can follow him on, 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 on YouTube also. They called him the Miracle Man. So tall a man, giant, handsome, had money. He said the guy he bought for his wife was millions of dollars. Living in mansion, you can watch him. Never had the thought of God, but yet his mother raised him as a child of God. But he's not, nice. he's swimming money, can do anything. The mother is crying, my son was not going to hell. Then God decided to show mercy. He entered somewhere where gas exploded. Bam! He was on the floor, died. And then, God help me. Somebody appeared from nowhere and pulled him out. When he came to Abuja to minister that great servant of God's church where we were, his left hand was a dead man's hand that they put there. His faith that done all manner of, I don't, I can't remember all manner of surgery that the number they did on his faith to make him alive. But a lot of things his stomach has been removed. That is, the way, that's why they call him Miracle Man. Eh? God wanted to, he said, I don't need God. God wanted to show him, but now he's a preacher. Those days, who is, who is God? Is anybody out of? I mean, I have money, I have, I have, um, I have great stature, I'm so wealthy. And then the wife that is so much all can buy anything for the wife. Where does it then came? The wife said bye-bye. When he was in the hospital. <laughs> Are we together now? Because the only one that really matters in your life is God. Hear me, child of God. If we begin to boast on anything that is not eternal, it's a pathway of the foolish. And it means you are not walking by the Spirit. 2 Corinthians 11, verse 16 to 18. All I have is you in heaven and earth. Oh, all I have is you. All I have is you. All I have is you. Oh, oh, oh. 2 
Corinthians 11, 16 to 18. Corinthians chapter 11, 16. Please, you have a Bible, read it because like, there is a challenge there. There is no God. Number two is what? Spending all the available resources without a saving culture in your life. Number three is what? Glory or posting on anything that is not eternal. Let me give you number last for today. So that we will, we will share the letters maybe for next week with the Lord for this. I pray for somebody this year. By the mantle of God, you won't follow the path of foolishness this year because you are wise in Christ. Because the word of God is your wisdom, it shows you what to do and what not to do. So, I say thank you, Jesus. Excuse me, can a person follow this pathway and you call the person fool, a foolish person? No, you can't. The word of God is our wisdom. Is it Timothy? From a child, you have known the Holy Scriptures and they are able to make you wise. To salvation. Salvation is not going to be born again because the Being delivered from the hostility and pains of life. Number last for today because of time. Proverbs 29 verse 11. It's like there's a problem with the system. All right, thank you. Okay, please. Proverbs 29 verse 11.
we'll get ready to the Matthew 12, 34, and Proverbs 25, verse 28, okay? Thank you, Holy Spirit. Proverbs 29, verse 11, look at what it says. A fool uttereth all his mind. I mean, all his mind. All his mind. But a wise man keepeth it in till afterwards. Oh! I wish, I wish this is projected. But did you see it in your Bible? Did you see it in the Bible? Let, let's, let's read it again together if you are seeing it. Two go. A fool uttereth all his mind, but a wise man keepeth it in till afterwards. Please, one more time. Again, to go. A fool uttereth all his mind, but a wise man keepeth it in till afterwards. Number what? Number four. Venting all your feelings in a moment of anger is a pathway of the foolish. Everything about the place. Did you get it now? Venting, pouring out all your feelings in a moment of anger is a pathway of the foolish. You were so angry that thing that you should have reserved for tomorrow, you pour everything out. Somebody, because somebody offended you, say, Come, let me tell you everything you say about, about this matter. And the person divorced secret that they have shared for a long time. I, have you heard something before? Because you are angry at the other person. God said, It's a pathway of what? He said, be angry and sin not. Are we together? Let not the soul go down in anger. But in a rage of anger, you vent everything. That, no, no, no. There are things you keep. You do what? You keep till afterwards. But I hear what I'm saying. There are things you keep till afterwards. <laughs> you can't follow this word and be termed what? A fool. Impossible. Impossible. You can't follow God's word because the word of God is the wisdom for the saints. Say this word is your wisdom. So when you say, uh, let's, let's not do that. That is, you were brought to work in the pain. There are messy things up. And the enemy to inside them. And you were so angry. You vent all your mind. Somebody I pray for deliverance prayer for, and God gave me the first job after five years of gravity. You correct your empty. <laughs> you correct your empty. <laughs> no wonder they sack you. I'm telling you, they sack you. Did you man came and the spirit of God said, I know it is two fingers. I've never received such a word before and after that. It's two fingers. I have not telling you. And in this class, I went to sleep. A spirit came and showed himself that I broke his covenant. In my dream. The, the spirit lift to figure and he broke that covenant. And Jehovah visited this man with a miracle job. Less than two more, they sack him. I said, What do you do? You are so foolish like this. You know, so thin, you correct your empty. Your ah. ah. message is on, your message is on, and you just alter your mind. Ah! There are things you, if you want to say, ah. you, saw, you, you want to say, What do you do? The Bible says a fool uttered what? Holy Spirit. This year, excuse me, you don't know who is standing by your side. They are not listening to that words because they are looking for something to catch up on you. So they provoke you to say things. I won't have time to show you things. The Bible says the Bible says they were provoking Jesus to say many things, hoping to catch him by his word. A fool uttered all. What? All, all. Don't utter all. No utter all. Say, you, you are not the only man that is coming. You think there are a thousand men. See, see, see. What? Why did you say yes to him before? And the man now say bye-bye. Why would you utter all your mind? Why do you utter all your mind? Oh, yeah, oh. 
tell him we need it. Lift your voice and thank the Lord for His word and for instruction today. The first Sunday in the month of February. He said you want to give us instruction how to go this year. Lift your voice and appreciate him. Sister, appreciate him, brother. I don't know who the Lord has spoken to, but I appreciate the Lord. I appreciate the Lord. I appreciate the Lord. Lord, thank you for the instruction of your word. I am full of wisdom because your word is my wisdom. I am full of wisdom because your word is my guide. Sister, brother, let's thank the Lord for his word. Let's appreciate him. Shanda yaga magana gadi kala gadan de 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 The word of God, shame will not be part of my journey this year. No, it's only the pathway of the fully that leads to shame. Shame will be part of my journey this year. Madam, talk to the Lord, brother. Talk to the Lord. Destruction will not be part of my journey this year. Barash, legadisa predi magaganas. Sister, please talk to the Lord. Brother, talk to the Lord. This year, shame will not be part of my journey. Destruction will not be part of my destiny this year. Ah, Kapo Labanda. Let some fire be at the microphone. Shaka Labanda. Shame will not be part of my journey this year. No. I reject shame. I reject destruction this year. Please talk to the Lord. It is the part of the fully that brings shame and destruction. Shame will be part of my journey. Barakata Sakate. In the name of Jesus Christ, say, Father, untimely death shall be far from my quarters, shall be far from my family. Open your mouth and talk to the Lord. It's only the part of the fully that bring untimely death. Untimely death will not be my portion. It will be the portion of my wife. It will be the portion of my husband. It will be the portion of my loved one. This year, I will not walk the path of the foolish. Please open your mouth and talk to the Lord. La Katash. Papa Papa Betos. Papa de 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 in the name of Jesus Christ. Say, Father, Father I am wise in Christ. I am wise in Christ. Please say, say, Father, Father I, am I am wise in Christ. I receive the grace, receive the grace to live to with the consciousness of God. Consciousness. Open your mouth and talk to the Lord right now. Shagalabadash! Only the food that lives as though there is no God. I am wise in Christ Jesus. The word of God is my wisdom. I receive the grace of daily walk in the consciousness of the Lord. In the consciousness of the Lord. Kapala Every spirit of impulse buying, 
of wasteful spending, of wasteful spending, every spirit of impulse buying, of wasteful spending, I break it in my life. I break it in my life. Open your mouth and begin to break it. Wasteful spending. You have fifty thousand. You spend it without knowing. You have hundred thousand. You spend it anyhow. No saving culture. Every spirit of wasteful spending. Every spirit. Jesus, lift your right hand as a point of hand. Say, Father, Father, I receive the grace, receive the grace to, have to have a saving culture in my life from now on. From now on. Father, I mean, lift that right hand, brother. Say, Father, Father, I receive the grace, receive the grace to, have to have a saving culture from now on. From now on. Open your mouth and ask God for that grace. Even though it's five thousand, save it. It's ten thousand, sister. Don't buy another. Uh, another is what? Save it. Ask God, Lord, I receive the grace to incorporate a saving culture. Shagata Kotopa Ratash. Legate ki deperete takash. Iteperete takash. Leka daka daka parados. Thank you, Father. In the name of Jesus Christ. Say, Father, Father, I receive the humility of life. Not to boast. Not to boast on anything that is not eternal. Father, I receive the humility of life. Not to boast on anything that is not eternal. Open your mouth and call upon the Lord. Don't boast.